How to solve for true static height as properties of fluids in fluid mechanics. Hey buddy, before we proceed, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell to be notified for more upcoming videos. This time, I will be showing you how to solve for true static height of water in a glass tube. Here is a sample problem. Distilled water stands in a glass tube of 10 mm diameter at a height of 25 mm. What is the true static height? Use surface tension value of 0.0745 Newton per meter. The first thing we need to identify is the given. R diameter of 10 mm. R height of 25 mm. R surface tension of 0.0745 Newton per meter. What is required in the problem is the true static height. To solve for that, we will be using the formula, H is equal to the quotient of 4 multiplied to surface tension, multiplied to cosine theta, all over, the product of Y and D. Where, H is the capillary rise or depression. Sigma stands for surface tension. D is diameter of the tube. Y stands for unit weight or specific weight. And theta which is equal to zero. It has value of zero degree water in a glass tube. You have to take note of that, especially when solving angle of water in a glass tube with respect to capillary rise or depression. We all have our values for R given so we only substitute it to the formula. We now have 4 multiplied to the surface tension of 0.0745 Newton per meter, multiplied to cosine zero. All over, the specific weight of water of 9810 Newton per cubic meter multiplied to the diameter of 10 millimeter the unit of diameter is in millimeter so we have to convert that into meter using the conversion factor of one meter is equal to 1000 millimeter we simply solve and we have four times 0.0745 newton per meter multiplied to cosine zero all over 9.810 newton per cubic meter multiplied to the converted diameter of 0.01 meter we now have 0.298 Newton per meter all over 98.1 Newton per square meter. The unit Newton will be cancelled out together with the 1 meter unit. The only left unit is 1 meter. We have now a final value for our capillary rise to be 0.003 meter. Next as we solve for the value of our true static height. We will use the formula height of the given tube minus the capillary rise symbolized by letter H. We simply substitute the values. We now have 25 mm minus the capillary rise of 0.003 meters. However, we have to convert first the meter unit into millimeter using the conversion factor, 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. We now have 25 mm minus 3 mm which is equal to our final answer of the true static height of 22 mm. That is now the sample on how to solve for the true static height of a water in a glass tube. Please consider subscribing before you exit.